Hello, Anthony is here, and uh, finally we've got live booleans in 3D code. So to activate them, you have to go into uh, the Edit Preferences and go into Better Tools and allow live booleans to happen. It's something you have to turn on. And after that, you have to restart 3D code. So here, I already have a collection of different layers, which you can see here is essentially a, a, a duplicate with all the booleans being shown. And here I have all those layers. Uh, if you right click, now I have this option that, uh, you know, if I click there, live boolean, so say no live boolean, it will bring them back. So right click, live subtraction, super easy to use. So now everything that's kind of been parented to the layer becomes our live boolean. Uh, now, if I just pick one of those props and start to move them, it will automatically update. We have like super sharp edges right now, but in fact, if I go and control and like drag the layer up and click on the top layer, I will subtract it. We will not get a super sharp layer. Uh, a super sharp corner. I pick this one. Right now, there is no way to go and pick all of them and commit like the subtraction because they it's just uh, it's not supported yet, but it will be supported in the future. We can see here the the uh, the corners they got less sharp, and I to maintain the sharpness, I have to really increase the polar count of the object. And in the future, 3D code developers, they are promised to introduce the surface mode because right now in the voxel mode, uh, when we have the surface mode, we will get like a full uh, full sharpness on the cuts. Well, in the future, it should be coming pretty soon. And you can see here, I have like a really colored model. So if I pick one of these guys, I can start switching to different materials and I can have like a visual preview of every cut. But now what's a little bit inconvenient is that I cannot really pick a Boolean volume. Uh, something also developers are working on, so probably in the future we'll be able to pick the volume much easier because right now I just have to go and actually cycle through all these volumes trying to find the one uh, suitable. But on a plus side, so the way I've created all of these guys, I've essentially used the blob tool. So control B is my hotkey for that. And then I will pick, say, I'll increase the edge radius, pick a, pick a blob, activate the on plane, and say I, I want to create a, a whole bunch of cuts. I'll go, say, 22 cut. And let's create you know, a cut. Let me go. We have it. Super easy. This is. I have, I'm not sure I've seen it in any other software where you would do something like that that fast. And of course, you can bring your own models and cut it with your own kit brush. This is a really simple demo where I just cut it all using the, like creating a bunch of layers with blob tool. Uh, but you, can, you might have my, um, kind of nicer slanted, uh, slanted angles. And you know, just go test out the feature and uh, see you in the next video.